The leader of Germany's main opposition party has backtracked on comments saying that he might be open to working with the far-right alternative for Germany, that's the AFD, at a local level. The remarks by Christian Democratic Union leader Friedrich Merz had sparked a backlash inside and outside his party. Cooperating with the nationalist anti-immigrant AFD has always been seen as taboo amongst mainstream parties. While ruling out cooperation at a regional, federal or European level, Mr Merz had appeared to suggest that his Conservatives would consider cooperating with candidates from the far-right party at a municipal level. At the municipal level, the party politicization has gone a bit too far. In Thuringia, a district administrator was elected and, of course, that's a democratic election. In a small community in Saxony-Anhalt, a local mayor has been elected who belongs to the AFD and, of course, that's a democratic election and we have to accept it. The local parliaments must then also look for ways to jointly manage the town and the district together. Let's bring in uh, political correspondent uh, Benjamin Alvarez Gruber. Welcome, uh, Benjamin. Um, why has Friedrich Merz now rode back on those comments? There was a lot of criticism, as you said, not only from other parties, from the Greens, from the pro-business FDP party, but also from within the party. And that's why he, why his communication team also tried, I'd say rather tried, uh, to roll back. There was a first tweet where his team tweeted out the same quote that draw this criticism. And then there was another tweet signed uh, by him stressing that there won't be any cooperation between the CDU, between the Conservative Party and the AFD on a local level. But there was this context label under that tweet, as readers and other Twitter users shared the exact quote during the interview and also had uh, the link there. But what it's telling is not only what he tweeted from his account, but also how it developed and what the CDU Twitter account, so the Twitter account of the Conservative Party, tweeted shortly after midnight posting a thread quoting one of the deputy chairs of the Conservative Party and one of the party leaders also defended Friedrich Merz. So this continued uh, for several hours. This was pretty quick, but it showed also uh, the damage of what Friedrich Merz uh, said and that he also tried then to backtrack. But the backlash that was really, really quick, not only from other parties, but within a uh, CDU high members of the party that also criticised him uh, for what he said. But there have been examples of parties uh, who have cooperated with the AFD uh, at a local level. Why such a strong reaction and now? That's right. The criticism um, against these comments in the party, uh, what Friedrich Merz has been saying, are not new. He recently said that the CDU, CSU, so the Conservative bloc, is an alternative for Germany with substance, so offering something else that the AFD is not offering. I think the discussion has to go further, and that's something that we've also seen, is what's the difference between helping a politician from the AFD to get uh, to win an election and what happens once they win it and what would it mean to cooperate with them? Would it be not answering the phone, not answering the email? And that's something that others still have to say. And that's what one of the deputy leaders of the party said, that it's difficult when it comes to a local, when it comes to small elections and how other parties uh, can treat this, w this way as well as the AFD is still winning more and more voters in the country. So there's been speculation uh, that Mr Mertz was actually trying to prepare the ground for an eventual formal cooperation of his Conservatives with the AFD at a higher level, at a regional or federal level. Do you think this was some sort of trial balloon? That's what some are saying, that he's been playing with fire. The leaders of the AFD, Tino Coppola and Alice Weidel, also posted a picture of a wall showing cracks in there. So they, of course, used this interview and used this quote saying there will be only a matter of time until this happens. But many are accusing Friedrich Merz, who has been accused of using this rhetoric of playing with fire.